Good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, Mr. Hill, and I'm going to show you um, how to uh, edit some images so that they're the proper sizes for your Pi game. Um, I'm also going to uh, show you how to uh, make sure that they have a transparent background so your images look nice and clean and crisp, and, um, and then they're really the size of, uh, of the image, and there isn't a lot of kind of what I would call white space or cloud space around your image so that you know when you when you start to create points of intersection it's a little more accurate okay so um, I went in and I'm, I'm actually gonna gonna create a, a little hand that moves around um, here's one that that, that, that could work um, uh, this one that I, I like because it has a black um, it has a black uh, uh, a black outline okay um, let me find one that doesn't have a transparent background so this is a uh, don't like that hand icon okay this one says it has a transparent background but let's I'm going to show you how to edit um, how to edit anyways so that um, you can make sure let me find one with a white um, let's go back and use my and okay there's a black one um, and I think that that'll work that'll work for our purposes okay so I'm going to save it I right click save image as and uh, let's go we'll call it hand um, hand the cursor I'm saving it to my um, to my desktop so I know where it is okay now um, I have Photoshop on my computer uh, you can actually, I, I will upload the instructions uh, for how students can log into Adobe and install Photoshop for free on your on your machines. I encourage you to do that. Um, I also do this uh, this tutorial in Google um, Google Vector or Google Google Pixlr, which will show you how to do the same thing, and it's another free program. Okay, but first I'll show you in Photoshop. So we got our image. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna open up Photoshop. Okay, I'm gonna create a new um, a new custom uh, size shape. Now I'm working in pixels here. Okay. Now um, it, it's a good indicator because our pix, our our frame, the screen that we created in Pygame, is in pixels. Okay. So we created a screen that was 800 by 600. So this this is a really big, um, uh, a really big, um, a really big screen. Okay, a really big image for a screen of our size. 495 is greater than half the size of 800, and 326 is greater than half the height of our 600 uh, size uh, size frame. My resolution I'll keep at around 150, and um, you can actually throw in transparent for it from the beginning if you want to start off. Okay, so we're starting off with a transparent background. Um, the next thing I need to do is um, I'm going to import our image. So let's go file and open. Okay. And I'm going to go to the desktop where I save my thing and I have my hand cursor there. Okay. So in Photoshop, this is going to open in a different file. Okay. So um, one of the nice things that we can do here is um, uh, is, is select, um, uh, select the, the hand using the magic wand. Okay, so I think it's under here. Uh, polygon ellipse, magic magnetic lasso. Um, where's the magic wand? Magic wand. Okay, so if we go here and we select um, everything around this, right now we've selected um, uh, everything. So I'm just going to hit delete and just see what gets deleted for a second here. So right there, it actually deleted. Um, everything around the hand okay which is great for us because that's what we want and um, now I can hit control C or command C on a Mac copy and head back over into my other image now um, because my um, my background is um, rotated um, what I can do here is I can go to image and I can uh, image rotation I'm gonna rotate it clockwise just so that we're working with the same orientation. Okay, I have a, a background that's transparent already. Okay, and I'm gonna add a new layer and I'm gonna put my hand, I'm gonna label it. My hand is gonna go on top. Okay, so now I know that I'm on this layer, right? Use my selection tool. Okay, 
make sure and I can go command V and paste okay now it looks like okay the size of our um, our, our hand is huge so we have to reduce this down okay and I'm going to bring it over okay hit enter and see what happens okay not there delete that. Attempt number two. Okay, go back over here. Um, if I go to select and select inverse, that should be just selecting the hand. Okay, sorry, I was selecting just the transparent piece. So if I select inverse, so you might have to play around with this a little bit. So uh, depending on what the magic wand automatically selects, you have to um, you might have to uh, use this select tool to select the inverse and, and that might change what you're selecting, okay? So I have, you can see I just have the hand selected and I can go up here and go to edit, copy, back over to my, my image here, select the layer that I want. Um, actually, I'm going to delete that layer just because it has that thing on it. And let's create a new layer. And now that I'm on that layer, I'm going to hit edit and paste. Okay, and there we can see our our, uh, our hand is there, it's huge. So I'm gonna hold shift and grab the corner and that'll constrain the proportions. Okay, and I can drag it over and over here and slowly move things around. Okay, and I'm gonna play with this until I get the size that I want. Command negative. Command negative will allow you to zoom out. Okay. And I'm keeping going here until I get the size that I want. Okay, distortion's a little bit odd here. Playing around with the size. Okay, I think that looks alright. That's okay. Not bad. I'm gonna center it a little bit. Hit enter to preserve your controls here. Now what I want to do is, um, because I, I want to um, uh, preserve kind of the tightness of my canvas, what I want to do is um, uh, I'm going to go to um, image and I'm going to hit trim, okay? And um, I'm gonna hit okay. And that's gonna trim all the excess stuff around my, around my hand, okay? Now the next thing I want to do is head up into layer and I'm going to go to, or sorry, image, and I'm going to go to image size, okay? Now you can const constrain your proportions so that you, um, uh, that, that this lock locks your proportions and um, you're working in pixels so that you know um, that you're working in the same dimension as that you are, that you have in Pi Game. Now remember that you know, 216 is one quarter the size of your screen width. So that's way too big, okay? So what I would suggest, if you're working with a little cursor, you maybe start with something um, around 70, okay? So 70 will be really high. 140, you know, 147 is, is, quite, uh, is quite long. So, you know, maybe, maybe you play a little bit there with, uh, with your size, okay? So um, let's look at something at creating. Let's go there for first, okay? So now we've created this hand. It looks really small. If you hit Command Plus, you can zoom in, okay? Now I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select my layer and I'm going to trim this a little bit, okay? So um, I'm going to hit my Crop button and um, I'm gonna bring this up and I'm gonna trim this down to about there. Okay, because I don't need all that hand, right? Hit enter, and then there I've trimmed my hand down to a nice size, okay? Um, I'm just gonna go back up to image and image size and check to see what we're dealing with now. So now we have a height of 100, width of 70. I still think that's a little bit high. So let's reduce this height down to about, um, you know, one sixth would be 60, okay? 60 and 42, let's play with that and see how that goes, okay? We can always come back and, um, and edit this so that it's a little bit bigger, um, but for now, you click okay, 
And there you have go Command Plus. We can zoom in and have a look at it. Hit your selection tool and Command D deselect. Okay, and it looks a little blurry because we're so zoomed in. Um, but really, what you'd actually see is something that's quite crisp from far away. So that's how you do it. That's how you edit your images. And um, you know, it's a little bit of trial and error to see what works with your game. But um, you might do this a couple times as you bring it into Pi Game, um, and you see that your image is a little bit too big or too small. Bring it back into Photoshop, edit it, re-import it into Pi Game, and then we can get nice crisp images with uh, with transparent backgrounds. Now the last little thing and that you need to remember is is to know how to uh, export it and uh, I'm going to export it as a PNG and why why do we do a PNG um, we use a PNG because a PNG will preserve the transparent background um, JPEGs don't always necessarily do that so using a PNG is really important so an export as a PNG right right now I have my hand cursor dot PNG um, and uh, I'm saving that to my desktop and uh, click Save and my other one was a PNG as well, so I'm just going to replace the original. I think I'm okay with this one after I've done all that editing. Replace, and um, and there you go. There's what I had. There, there, there's my my starting point. Okay. Now um, to save this file, I'll go File Save. Okay, and uh, I'm saving it on my computer. Now I'm going to save this as a Photoshop document. So that keeps this document as a Photoshop document. So when I need to come back in and change the image size and play around with that, this, that, some of that stuff if I want to um, add a couple things. It, the Photoshop document is also preserved. So this is handcursor.psd which is a Photoshop file and, um, and then you have access to that that can be easily edited and then re-exported as a PNG if you need to do that. Okay, so there's save and click OK and now we have um, our images that we need to work with. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, it's a good start. I know it seems kind of complex, but I want you to learn the whole process of creating a game that is entirely original. I want you to create your own images. I want you to create your own backgrounds, or at least create backgrounds that you've edited or played some part in creating. Okay, and you're going to be the coder that writes the code that makes you know these images and text uh, um, variables and backgrounds interact okay you are the sole creator of this game and um, and and you need to learn all the the, the, the parts of the process okay um, you can't rely on people to do things for you so I suggest you know you, you learn how to do these editing things yourself um, and, and then you don't have to wait for someone to do it for you okay and you can make your uh, in the end you have a nice clean professional product okay I hope that helps. I hope you're well and um, and stay tuned for more.